What up, Huggable Peeps? How are ya? <laughs> Hi, I'm not dead. I'm still here. Hi. And today I also pre-recorded a story time that got a little lengthy, but bear with me. Um, so, yeah. Welcome back to Thursdays on my channel that I like to call Spooky Thursdays. Every Thursday, I like to try to tell, tell you guys, oh my god, go on see. Tell stories of the paranormal on my channel and see what happens. And if you're, you like it and you're new, hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon down there. So you know, yeah, you know, so you know when I actually get off my duff and post videos. Now this one, I kind of, I don't know, it's kind of interesting. This is about a, um, local, uh, theater over at, uh, college called NMU, or as everyone else could call it, Northern Michigan University, and the place is Forest Robert Theater. And the story goes, in the early 1970s, a uh, janitor who was employed at NMU fell victim to a serious heart attack, serious heart attack, in the elevator shaft that connects the Forest Robert Theater to the Thomas Fine Arch Building. And a heavier set gentleman with a full beard and joyful personal persona, the physical work simply caught up to him late one Friday evening as he took his last breath in that elevator shop. No ghosty sightings, you know, no ghosts have been sighted, no janitor ghosts have ever been reported, but mysterious occurrences have been going on with the elevator. After class hours, cameras installed in the hall frequently uh, capture the elevator's changing floors, doors opening and closing, with no one in there, and the operational lights turning on and off. Apparently, the janitor's spirit is still uneasily after all these years. Well, duh, won't you be? Oh, and then here's another one I found. And this is called, uh, let's see, let's see it. um, oh, this one is also located, I don't, I'm not sure if the building still stands on anymore, but, uh, this is also at, uh, no, NMU, and it, it is or was, I'm not sure, was one of the dorms, it's called, this story is called 304 Havshin Hall, and the story goes in the late 1960s, a uh, northern student who stayed in this room hung herself from the top bunk. It has been reported that her ghost still haunts the halls of the third floor of Havishan. It has been also reported that sometimes late at night, sounds of fingernails scratching along the chalkboards in the study room. On the third floor can be heard. Hmm. I think of that one. <coughs> and then here's one more. I'm just gonna throw one. This is the landmark in and this has something to do with a well the rooms there obviously. This um the landmark is one of the most prestigious tall statue breathtaking hotels with breathtaking views, all that fun stuff. Rooms of views with Lake Superior. The I location is great. Um the <laughs> there are plenty of ghosts of this particular hotel. But this one in particular just kinda got me. This is about let's see here. Okay, here we go. Um, tucked in is a corner or far corner on on the sixth floor of the lawn market is a room called the lilac room. 
larger large room used today as a banquet in hospitality dinner space. Um, the lilac room is known for its elegant and historic decor, but there's also something else. The grocery surround going around about this particular room is about a uh, broken lo broken hearted lover who unfortunately mm, okay here's the story um let's see here the ghost story surrounding the lilac room goes as follows the telephone switchboard in the lobby on the main floor of the hotel receives calls from that room although there's no one in there there's no one no guests, no employees, nothing. Theories have been going around about who has been making safe calls. The person that the person that they like to call the lilac lady. Former lover who is a former lover of a sailor who frequently stayed in the liar lilac room and went to sail on Lake Pier and never returned. Being completely heartbroken. The lilac lady was said to have made suicide by tying multiple lilac imprinted napkins together and hanging herself out of outside one of the room's many windows. Current hotel workers have said described numerous sightings in the hall on the sixth floor. The ghost of the lilac lady wearing a floral gown after the switchboard. See here. After the switchboard calls are being made to this very day, the hotel lobby switchboard continues to ring and more and more sightings of the lilac lady are reported. Hmm. Interesting, isn't it? So if you guys like these stories, give this video a thumbs up. I promise I'll do better next time. I'm sorry, I'm so boring and I did three stories. But what the heck. Um, yeah. If you haven't already, again, hit that subscribe button. You can become part of the Grumpy Pokemon here. He's a little Part of the Grumpy Pokemon crew here, and yeah. We'd love to have you. Um, hopefully I'll see you next Thursday in our video. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. Till then. All social media down below, and as the article is, so you guys can look at it yourself. And I will see you next time. Bye, everyone.